You've never heard of the Millennium Falcon? It's the ship that made the Kessel run in less than 12 parsecs. Hey, Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, got another vintage collection review. We're going with another Boba Fett. This is the comic art edition based on the appearance in Death, Lies and Treachery. I can't remember how old that comic book is now, but oh, no, it's a, it's another cool sort of stylistic choice for an action figure. Arguably probably one of the better, the better sculpts, the Return of the Jedi sculpt from recent years. I'm hoping an Empire Strikes Back one uh, is around the corner. Um, and the sort of the Kenner color one, as you can see on the back there, that one in the middle, I should have that very, very shortly. So stay tuned for that one as well. I'm doing a little bit of catch up here. So again, VC278. I'm liking, I'm liking the artwork. I'm liking the nod to the, uh, the comic book there, but it looks pretty cool. Looking forward to, uh, Cracking this one open and taking a look at the figure, so let's do exactly that. All right, here is Boba Fett out of the packaging. He's looking pretty damn cool. Death, Lies, and Treachery, the comic art that this one is based off of. Again, uh, using the exact same figure sculpt and accessories as the uh, the comic art edition, which we just take took a look at. So if you missed that review, go back and check it out. Cool different version of Boba Fett. Um, yeah, already taken the liberty of putting him on a KR action figure stand featuring three different peg sizes for all your action figure needs. Not guaranteed to fit every single one given the uh, differences in peg sizes, but uh, I think we found a sweet spot. We get quite a lot of them standing up on action figure stands, which is great. Again, accessory wise, he's got his sort of color inspired jetpack again same as the last one no removable rockets no spot for included flames but it's fine it's a nice sculpt it will fit on there nicely this Boba Fett not rocking the soft goods cape that's probably the only exclusion from this version which is fine that's not a problem at all Otherwise, I like the look of this guy. Uh, access other accessories. He comes with his blaster pistol, which I might give to this guy, and his uh, other rifle, which I might actually, for, for the purposes of a different version of display, I might sit that on his shoulder like that, and then he can have the blaster pistol ready for some slightly more clo close quarters combat. So that looks cool. <clears throat> yeah, I like it. I like the, uh, you know, the sort of the green on the one side and then sort of creeping through the shadows. You've got that sort of blue on the other side. Again, sort of going through, going with that sort of almost cell shaded look that Marvel have done with some of their Legends figures. But uh, yeah, definitely a bit more dramatic on this one. But it's cool, they've captured all the elements. Looks good. You've still got the Mythosaur logo lit up on the uh, on the shoulder armor there. And the other little logo sort of hidden in the shadows, it's not there. You can sort of say, you know, it's a little dark patch on that side of Boba, where you're not gonna see that. Just like the way the uh, it's all applied in that sort of brush stroke, sort of artistic look. Sort of monochrome. I don't know what the term is. I'm sticking with a basic color palette to evoke an environment or situation or, you know, certain types of lighting. You know, the shadow sort of cast on that side of the belt all the way down the figure. The shadow sort of casting on the inside of the uh, the knee pads there. Yeah, you've got the, the hoses in a different colour. The belt and the pouches in a yellow. They're still capturing that essential flavour of Boba Fett and the, the highlights of the greens and the yellows and the undersuit being 
it's it's a blue on this figure, but obviously it's sort of an interpretation of the sort of the plain sort of grey jumpsuit he wears. But it worked out pretty damn well. I like the way it looks. I did skip out on the articulation for the other one, so I'm not going to do that on this one. I'm going to give you the full kit and caboodle of articulation, so if you saw the other review and you're getting the same thing. So, um, yeah, he's got a double ball joint in the neck and head, ball hinges in the shoulders, ball hinges in the elbows, ball hinges in the wrist. You've got up and down on the left wrist and an up and down on the right. You have a bit of a torso joint there. That's for a little bit of movement. It looks all right. We have ball hinges in the hips, swivels at the thighs, ball hinges in the knees, in the ankles, and you've got that swivel Swivel joint in the foot for the rocker joint, so you get him in all the all the cool funky poses you want. There's not too much limiting this guy, which is fantastic. And again, I like the look with the uh, the other blaster sort of sitting back there on both side. It's a nice swap out for the fact that he doesn't have the soft goods. For whatever reason, they decided to pass on that. If not, whether it's not depicted in the comic book, I'm not sure. But that's fine. Another nice looking Boba Fett. Again, for the longest time, I've said this over the years, <laughs> I was a very much a, an anti-Boba Fett. I was like, nah, he's... You know, he's a punk, he got killed by a blind man with a stick, and yet I have amassed a shrine to Boba Fett. <laughs> I did a rewatch of Book of Boba Fett recently, and I got a lot more enjoyment out of it than I have in the past. And uh, he's just badass. I gotta stop lying to myself. Well, I did stop lying to myself a long time ago. This was like 10 years ago when I was I was a bit of an anti-Boba hipster. But uh, yeah, I, I couldn't lie to myself anymore. He is cool. He's just a badass. He looks looks rad while he's doing it. So yeah, another cool, cool Boba Fett action figure. He's gonna go up on the on the shrine. Um, once I've got the can of color one, I'm gonna do a little. I might do a little overview of them all, and we'll take a look. Even some of the uh, Book of Boba Fett versions. So I hope you stay tuned, and you can check that out when I get to that. Then until then. Drop a comment down below, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new, and uh, we'll see you very soon for some more Star Wars action figure reviews. Until then, may the Force be with you, always. We would be honored if you would join us.